welcome to Two Birds, I'm Fiona, and this is an all-round uh, refreshing flow, vinyasa flow, and we'll touch physically on opening up the shoulders, the side body, the spine, and your legs. We'll get started today just kneeling at the back of your mat. And if you find it uncomfortable to kneel, please feel free to sit cross-legged, sit with some support, perhaps a blanket underneath your buttocks uh, on top of your heels. We're sitting quietly here for a couple of breaths, closing the eyes, taking a deep breath out and simply relaxing into the shape. Shoulders relaxed, elbows heavy. Establishing a rhythm to your breath, breathing in and out through the nostrils. Taking three more smooth breaths in and out. And one more deep breath in. And as you exhale, draw the chin in toward your chest, your eyes to the back of your eyelids. Gently blink the eyes open. And taking your hands to your heart center, interlace your fingers. A deep breath in here. And as you exhale, draw the fists away, round through your spine. Drop your chin in. As you inhale, send the arms up overhead, turning your palms inside out. Stretch tall through the sides of your waist. And as you feel yourself breathe out, take the hands behind the back, interlace your fingers. Puffing the chest, squeezing your shoulder blades, take the gaze up. And as you exhale, fold forward and let your arms float away from your back in your comfortable range of motion. Inhaling, coming up, keeping your hands interlaced, turning your palms face down toward the floor. We'll just do that one more time. Inhale here. Exhale, arms move away, chin lightly in. Inhale, send the arms up overhead, reach tall, waking up through the sides of the waist. Exhale, take the hands behind the back, interlace the fingers. Big breath in, open the chest. Exhale, roll forward. Laying your torso down on your thighs, floating the arms away from your back. As you inhale here, release the arms, lift the hips, stretch up tall, press the palms. And as you exhale, take the hands to the floor and walk yourself forward, settling the buttocks down on your heels, separating the knees and coming into child's pose. And just taking a couple of breaths here, feeling your breath move either side of your spine and into the ribs. Feel it touch the back of your lungs. And finding a nice even cadence to your breath. As you inhale, coming up onto all fours, tucking the toes and make your way into your first downward dog. You can keep a bend in the knees, allow your head to drop and shifting your torso toward your thighs. Arms feel straight and strong and you're just spreading out through your fingers so you feel spacious and long through your torso all the way down to the edge of the fingers. Feel free to pedal out through your heels here and move the hips, shake out the head. Pedaling the toes together there at the back of the mat. Take a bend in the knees, send the gaze forward and walk yourself forward to 
the top edge of your mound. Feet come hip width apart here. When you arrive, take a half lift. Slide the hands all the way up to your shins. Come up to a flat back. As you exhale, bend the knees. Relax your head. As you inhale, rise to stand, setting the arms all the way up overhead. And as you exhale, taking your hands to your heart. A couple of rounds of half forward folds here. You inhale, sending the arms overhead, press the palms. Exhale, dive forward, arms out wide, just taking up the space around you. Uttanasana. <clears throat> inhale, coming up halfway. And exhale to fold. Rise to stand, reaching the arms overhead. And exhale your hands to your heart. One more round, just coordinating your movement with your breath. Top of the inhale, your palms touch. Bottom of the exhale, folding forward, dropping your head. Inhale. New fresh breath filling up, exhale and fold in a little deeper, closer to your legs, inhale to rise, stretching tall and exhale the hands to your heart. Standing at the top of the mat with your toes together here, reach the arms overhead, find a mild back bend as you reach. Exhale, dive forward, firm stomach muscles, a flat back. Inhale, coming up halfway. Exhale, stepping back to plank pose. Pause here, keeping the gaze forward, legs strong, heels reaching back. Lower belly hugging in and up. Take a deep breath in, push the floor away. Exhale, knees to the floor and your buttocks to your heels. Just for a bit, into your lungs. Inhale, coming up onto all fours, arch your spines and the gaze up. And as you exhale, push the floor away with your hands, your shins and feet round the spine. One more round. Inhale to arch. And exhale to round. Inhale, send the gaze forward and shift forward slightly, keeping the elbows above your wrist, lower slow all the way to the floor, bring the toes together, knees together, inhale, low baby cobra, arching the spine, keeping length through the back of your neck, exhale, roll back on your knees, tuck the toes, downward facing dog, big deep breath in, fill up, and a slow breath out, Empty. Keeping your breath at an even cadence, mindful rhythm. One more deep breath in, looking forward. End of your exhale, step or lightly hop, come on up, top edge of the mound. Inhale, a half lift, extending your spine. Exhale, soften your knees and fold in. Inhale, rise to stand, come all the way up. And we'll keep it flowing as you feel yourself breathe out. Swan dive forward, over the legs. Inhale, a half lift, looking forward. Exhale, stepping back, plank pose, keeping the gaze forward. Fingers spread, deep breath in. Exhale, knees to the floor, buttocks to heels as you breathe out. Go forwards as you breathe in, arch the spine, lengthening through the front of the spine. Exhale to round, hugging in and up through the belly. Inhale, arching. Exhale, rounding the spine. Neutral spine as you breathe in, send the chest forward. And as you breathe out, lower slow. Legs together, inhale baby cobra, exhale peel down either full plank or roll on your knees to modify downward facing dog. 
Big deep breath in. Slow breath out. Inhaling. And exhaling. One more smooth breath in, looking forward. End of your exhale, step or lightly hop, come on up, top edge of the mat. Toes together, inhale, lifting up halfway, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, folding in Uttanasana. Rise to stand, pushing down through your feet. Exhale, hands to the heart. Inhale, reach your arms overhead, catching your right hand to your left wrist. Take a side bend over to your right, lengthening through the left side of your waist, leaning your left hip out to the side. Inhale, back to centre, switching the hands, lift tall, and as you breathe out, tip over. Big breath in, press the palms, gaze up. Exhale your hands to your hips, stepping back with your right foot and coming into temple pose. Turning your heels in, your toes out and gently sinking down through the hips and take a little boogie side to side, get comfortable through the soles of your feet so you feel even, stable and tracking your knees toward the big toes, pushing down through your heels and reaching the arms up overhead. Interlace your fingers and press the index fingers toward the ceiling. So your arms alongside your ears or a little forward of your ears if you've got tight shoulders. Tailbone lengthening down, front of the pelvis lifting up so your abs feel engaged. Take a deep breath in and as you exhale straighten the legs Turn to your front foot, your left foot, and point the left toes forward. Keep both legs straight. Reach out as far as you can over the front leg, Trikonasan. Right hand to the sky. Straight line from your right shoulder to your left shoulder. Pushing the floor away with your feet. Spread your toes. So you feel an upward energy running up the legs. Lengthening through both sides of the way. See if you can get a little longer through the left side. Send the right arm overhead. Take a deep lateral stretch. You can feel your torso gently lean back, hips forward. Deep breath in. Exhale, hands either side of your front foot. Pop up on your back toes and wriggle them back. Right knee to the floor for a low lunge. Inhale, raise the arms up overhead. And as you exhale, fingertips underneath the shoulders, roll back, straighten your front leg. We'll just flow a little now through the hips. Roll forward to your right foot, pick up your back knee, walk over to your right foot now. Straighten the left leg and turn the left toes toward the ceiling. Over to your left foot, straighten the right leg, right toes to the ceiling. Turn and face the back of your mouth. Hands either side of your right foot, stepping back for a vinyasa, high pusher. Perhaps drop the knees to the floor here, low pusher. Inhale, low baby cobra. And exhale, downward facing dog. And separating your feet here, hip width apart. Lightly spinning your heels out, your big toes in. And then count down through all the knuckles of your fingers, press them into the mat, spread your fingers. Straightening through the arms, leaning your torso back toward your thighs. Thighs and shins press back in space, encouraging the heels toward the mat. One more deep breath in, looking forward. End of your exhale, step or lightly hop. Come on up, top edge of the mat. Facing the back of the room, inhale, half lift. And exhale, two fold in. Inhale to rise, come all the way up. And exhale, your hands to your heart. 
Second side, arms overhead as you breathe in. Right hand to your left wrist and gently sway over to your right. Inhale back to centre, legs nice and strong here. Switching the hands, leaning over. Inhale back to centre, press the palms. Exhale your hands to your hips. Stepping back here with your right foot now. Bring the heels in, your toes out, bend the knees nice and deep. Sending your tailbone straight down, low belly, hugging in and up. So you still keep your breath nice and free there, You're directing your breath into your rib cage. So you feel your ribs expand as you breathe in, your belly firm as you breathe out. Reaching the arms overhead, lace the fingers, press the index fingers. So sinking down through the lower half of your body, lifting up nice and tall through the upper half of your body whole body engaged and active. Deep breath in, straighten the legs, turning toward your right foot now, left toes point in. Hinge out over your right leg as far as you can without locking your right knee back. Right hand down, left hand to the ceiling, sending the gaze up to the tip of your left thumb. Breathing smooth. Send the left arm overhead. Reach out through the left side of your waist. And gaze down, hands down. Frame your front foot, wriggle the left toes back. Low lunge coming up, left knee to the floor. Reach the arms, take a big breath in, expand. And exhale, fingertips underneath. Your shoulders roll back. Work towards straightening your front leg. Flowing now, walking forward to your right foot, pick up your left knee, walk over to your left foot, straighten the right leg, right toes toward the ceiling. Over to your right foot, straighten the left leg. Over to the left foot, straighten the right leg. Walk all the way around to the top edge of your mat. Stepping back, plank pose, top of a push-up. Lowering slow, chaturanga, upward dog or cobra. Down the dog as you breathe out. Big deep breath in, fill up. And a slow breath out and empty. One more deep breath in, looking forward, toes come together. End of your exhale, step or lightly hop, come on up, top edge of the mat. Take a big breath in, half lift. And as you exhale, fold in. Rise to stand, sweeping the arms out and up. Reach up, look up. Exhale your hands to your heart. Big breath in, arms overhead, a crescent stretch again, right hand to the left wrist, tipping over to your right. Inhale back to center and exhale other side. Big breath in, press the palms. Exhale, hands to your hips. Stepping back with your right foot now, take a big long stride and this time turn your heels out, your toes in. So just lining your toes up there and conscious that you're keeping your quad muscles lifting and engaged. Taking your hands behind you, interlace your fingers, take a big breath in and open your chest. And as you exhale, fold forward, just following your nose as you fold. And if you're tighter through the back of your legs, please a little bend in the knees as you fold.
So arms can float away from your back just in your comfortable range of motion. Do try and lift the shoulder heads up away from the mat so you feel a freedom in the sides of your neck. Your head hangs heavy, your expression soft in your face. And you're actively pushing down through your feet, lightly tipping forward until you feel even through the feet. Legs engaged, lower belly hollowing out. As you feel yourself breathe in, release the arms, let the warmth travel down your arms, come up, half lift, looking forward. Exhale, walking around to your front foot, your left toes, lining your heels up. Take a nice long stride while your fingertips are still on the floor, opening up for warrior two. Arms out to a T. And then just checking in, making sure you can see your toes off the front ledge of your knee. Your inner thighs are gently extending, expanding toward your knees. Your back leg feels super straight. Muscles firm without lock, locking through the knee. And you're anchoring down through the outer edge of your back heel. Keep the legs where they are, breathe in. Reverse your warrior, breathing out. Left forearm to your left knee, right arm straight up toward the ceiling. Side angle pose. And allow your hips to drop so that left knee is working toward a right angle there without losing contact with your back foot. Toes are spread and pushing down through your heels. Take a deep breath in. And as you exhale, both hands to the floor, low lunge, right knee to the floor, reach the arms up or flow. Exhale, a hamstring stretch, just releasing any tightness from that front leg. Roll back, straighten the front leg. Roll forward, pick up your back knee, scan dasana over to your right foot, straighten your left leg over to your left foot, straighten your right leg, keep the chest open and bright. Walking around to your right foot here, take a vinyasa, or if you'd like to do less, just stepping back to downward facing dog. Little back bend. Rolling back, downward facing dog. And just taking a couple of resting breaths here. Feel free at any time to take your knees to the floor. Find an even steady rhythm to your breath. One more deep breath in, looking forward. End of your exhale, step or lightly hop, come on up, top edge of the mat. Inhale, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, Uttanasana, folding in all over the legs. Inhale, rise to stand, reach the arms up overhead. And exhale, hands to your heart. Second side, arms overhead, breathe in. Right hand, left wrist, legs strong, leaning to your right. Inhale back to centre and exhale over to the other side, opening up the side body. Breathing in, press the palms. Breathing out, hands to the hips. Stepping back with your right foot now, take a big long stride. Turn your heels out and your toes in, lining the toes up. Take your hands behind your back, interlace your fingers. So you can just feel, as you do that, slide the shoulder blades in toward each other. Draw down through the fist so you brighten through your chest. Take a big breath in, look up. And as you exhale, fold forward. Please bend your knees if you feel really tight in the back of the legs. Let the head drop.
not doing anything aggressively in your body here, just perhaps closing your eyes so you can really feel in to the sensations that you might feel through the back of your calves, your ankles, hamstrings, not overdoing it through the shoulders, perhaps easing off just a little. One more deep breath in. And as you exhale, release the hands to the floor, coming up halfway, breathe in. And as you exhale, walk now around to your right foot, your face, the front of the room now. Heels line up, right toes point forward, open up into warrior two. Arms open wide to the side and creep your right foot forward just a little there, keeping the back leg super straight. And then extending your gaze out over your right middle finger. And more often than not, your right knee will want to roll in a little bit here, but you want to just try and keep your bones stacked. So your muscles are evenly engaged, cadence of your breath, smooth and steady. Mind, patient, and observant. Next breath in, reverse your warrior. Breathe in, reach the arm up. And as you breathe out, extended side angle pose. We'll start or we'll stay nice and easy in this pose. So you want to keep that right side of your waist nice and long, as well as the left side. Back leg super straight, anchor down through the edge of your left foot. Send the gaze up and feel a nice long line through the back of your neck all the way down to your tailbone. Deep breath in. Exhale, release, hands to the floor. Pop up onto your left toes, left knee to the floor now. Low lunge, reach the arms, breathe in. Flow now with your breath, hamstring stretch, stretch breathe out. Rolling forward, pick up your back knee and come over for a skandasana, over to the left foot, right leg straightens, chest open. Over to your right foot, straighten the left leg, open the chest. Over to your left foot, straighten the right leg, right quads engaged and lifting. Walk all the way around to the top edge of the mat, frame your front foot. And then from here, we're going to shoot the duck, just sending your left leg all the way through and come to sit, moving back into the middle of your mat. Extending both legs out straight here, sitting nice and tall, Dan Dasan. Palms on the floor or fingertips on the floor, toes flex back, low belly hugging in, crown of the head reaching for the ceiling. Very beneficial for the muscles either side of your spine, your postural muscles, strengthening and toning the muscles in your low back, your abdominals, your core. And then from here, just walk your hands back, come onto the palms of your hands, a little bend in your elbows and bend the knees, taking your feet hip width apart. Keeping the chest nice and bright, press down through all four corners of your feet, lifting up into tabletop, keeping the gaze forward. And as you exhale, lower down and just hover the buttocks. Inhale to lift, exhale to lower. Next one, we're going to come up. If it's comfortable in your neck, feel free to drop your gaze back, pushing down evenly into both hands both feet without gripping in your toes. Bring the gaze forward, lower slow, come down to a hover and then shift your weight back like a swing, your buttocks through the arms. If you can keep the buttocks off the ground, flex your toes, inhale, lift, exhale, roll back, flex, inhale, lift, exhale, roll back, flex, Inhale, lift, 
And go ahead, lower yourself down. Crossing your legs here, walking forward, stepping back, downward facing dog. Let your head drop here, it should feel quite sweet through the spine, particularly through the back of your neck now. Relax your expression, take three deep breaths here. Noticing where you can feel warmth in your body, where you feel spacious, and let your breath spread evenly through the lungs as you linger. Take your toes together here at the back of the mat. Really slowly with your breath without flinging your right leg up. Just take your right leg up, point your right toes, take it up nice and high. Bend your right knee and gently open up through your hip. So your right knee will point toward the ceiling, your right heel toward your left buttocks. And then what's going to happen here often is your left shoulder is going to collapse a little, push actively down through your left hand. Try and keep your shoulders nice and level. Drop your gaze underneath your right shoulder. As you feel yourself breathe out, take your right knee to the back of your right hand and extend your left leg out straight, coming into pigeon pose. Now, if this is really uncomfortable for your knee, please come down onto your back and take a hip groin stretch. So you'd lay back, take your right ankle to your left knee, and then you draw your left knee back toward you. If you're comfortable in pigeon pose and you've got tight hips, your heel can move closer in toward your pelvis. If you've got more open hips here, feel free to take your shin more parallel with the front edge of your mat. You want to get the feeling that your torso is pointing forward, the points, front points of your hips are pointing forward. Take a big breath in, opening up through the chest. As you exhale, bring the chest forward, lengthening through the front of your spine, come down onto your forearms or extend your arms out straight. Taking five slow, deep breaths. And inviting your energy to settle, your shoulders to soften and relax. And emptying your weight down into the hips. Walking the hands back to stand on your hands, stepping back to downward facing dog. And letting the back of your right knee breathe, feel free to pedal out through your heels here. Walk the toes together for your second side now without flinging the left leg up, just slowly raise the left leg. Nice and high, bend your left knee, take your left heel toward your right buttocks. So you should feel that stretch through the top of your left, <coughs> pardon me, left thigh. Push actively down through that right hand, keeping the shoulders nice and level. And encouraging your right heel toward the floor. Big breath in here. Exhale. Left knee to the back of your left hand. Right leg extends out. And here you just want to feel your right hip rolling down so hip points are nice and level. You're comfortable in your knee. Flexing the toes on your left foot help protect the knee. Big deep breath in. And exhale walking forearms forward. 
or extending your arms forward. And allow yourself just a really mellow rock side to side if that feels helpful. Clear out any stagnant energy then or tightness that can collect around the hips. Utilizing the warmth that you've put into your legs through your practice here and now inviting a deeper stretch as you linger. Relax your shoulders. One more deep breath in. And exhale, hands to the floor, stepping back to downward facing dog. Pedaling out through your heels. Stretching out through the back of your legs. Take a longer stride. Find some space and length through your whole body. Last downward dog for the class. And then really slowly take the knees to the floor, cross your legs, making your way down onto your back. And hugging the knees in toward your chest when you arrive there. Take your toes together here and drop the knees away from your body so your arms can straighten. And then really small, subtle movements here, knees out wide to the side, and then draw them in again to, toward each other. So you're just massaging the low back spine. And then roll it back the other way. And then take both feet to the floor. Set your feet up so they're hip width apart, heels quite close to the buttocks there so your fingers can lightly brush your heels. Arms alongside your body. We'll go through one round of bridge flow. Just flowing, one movement, one breath. Second round we'll hold bridge. And just remember to keep a nice uniform arch through your spine so you're not pinching into your low back spine. An easy way to just take that pinch off is just to lower down a little when we hold our bridge. A big deep breath in, send your arms overhead, allow your spine to arch and as you exhale bring the hands forward to the floor, extend your tailbone toward your heels, lift the hips. Inhale, arms overhead, lowering your buttocks. And exhale, hug the knees in toward the chest. Feet to the floor, arms overhead, breathe in. Hands to the floor, lift the hips and really importantly, lengthen your tailbone now toward the back of your knees so you find space there in the low back spine. Gaze is out over the front of the chest, chin lightly in. And there's two options here, well there's more options than two, but there's two options that we'll take here. If you've got tighter shoulders, fingers can wrap around the edges of the mat, straightening the arms and just encourage your shoulder blades to come in toward one another. If you've got that mobility through your shoulders, you can interlace your fingers underneath your buttocks. Just finding a little bit more lift and space through the front of the body. 
And if you can't see your legs here, just feel for your legs uh, parallel with one another. Pushing down through your heels to lift up and then leaning your knees forward so you keep length, space through the low back spine. One more big breath in and exhale rocking off your shoulders and rolling down through your spine. Gather the knees in toward your chest. Little rock side to side. And taking your hands now to the outer edges of your feet. Coming into happy baby. Knees down toward your armpits. Soles of the feet look like they're holding the ceiling up. Feet are really wide here. Toes are flexed. And a nice deep stretch through the inner groin, inner thighs. And a little rock side to side to massage the low back spine. Nice counter pose. Bring the knees back in toward your chest. Taking your uh, right foot to the floor, <laughs> catch your left knee in and extend your left heel up toward the ceiling. So no props are uh, really required here. You can just interlace your fingers behind the back of your left leg. Could be anywhere, calf, you can take a bind. You can take your hands more comfortably behind the back of your hamstring. Spine's in one straight line, your heels reaching up toward the ceiling, toes are curling back toward you. Right leg out straight, if it feels comfortable. If it feels like too strong, or you start to shake, or you need to tense your shoulders to sustain it, please just re-bend that right knee. Left knee pointing toward your left shoulder so it's not rolling in. Quads are engaged. And then slowly lower the left leg all the way down to the floor. And then from here bend your left knee Left foot on the floor, right heel up toward the ceiling, reach up. Catching a hold comfortably behind the back of your right leg. Right kneecap now pointing toward your right shoulder. The eyes of the kneecap uh, pointing straight ahead, not rolling in. Chin lightly in, shoulders soft. Just feeling the temperature of the stretch change as you linger here. As your muscles acclimatize, the stretch feels less intense, more comfortable. And that's when you get that cue that perhaps you can deepen the stretch by extending the leg, left leg out straight, or just drawing the right leg a little closer toward you. One more deep breath in. And exhale, slowly lower your right leg down. An easy twist here, bending your knees now. Just stack the knees, arms out wide to the side, palms face up. Lift your buttocks and send the knees out over to the right. Your hips will shift a little over to the left. And send the gaze in the same direction, away from your knees. Shoulder blades just snuggling down your spine toward your tailbone. Breathing brightly into the right side of the rib cage, the right armpit. Relaxing the legs as you breathe out. Take one more deep breath in. Breathing out firm the belly, raise the knees and just shifting over to the other side. So you're just cooling down now, taking this time to recalibrate your spine. 
And enjoy a deep twist after all that movement in your body. And twists are really enlivening for your central nervous system. They have the effect of waking you up, energizing you, and they also keep your spine nice and supple, agile. Take a big breath in. Exhale, firm the belly, bring the knees back up. And hug the knees in toward your chest. Crossing your legs here, catch a hold of your feet. Send your feet right out overhead, take a big rock and then all the way up, come to sit. I think my belt got in the way. <laughs> Ouch. Legs crossed. And crossing uh, at the shins. Toes flex, lifting up nice and tall, breathe in. And as you breathe out, just bring the chest forward through your arms, let your hands fall to the floor, fold forward. Hands can walk out in front of you or keep them by your side if you're tighter in the hips. Just a really natural, easy, calm forward fold. Drawing your attention in Closing the eyes, relaxing through the legs, heavy in the hips. And when you feel ready to slowly walk yourself up, Take a few moments to either sit in meditation quietly to complete your practice or find just a few minutes to lay back, integrate all the benefits of your practice, coming down into Shavasana, palms out wide to the side of your body, face up, heels out to the corner edges of your mat. Shuffle out all the restlessness from your body and allow yourself to rest here. back of your skull to feel heavy, letting your brain relax into the back of your skull. Relaxing deeply into your shoulders, letting go of any squeezing in the arm muscles. Let your fingers relax and curl in toward your palms. Letting go. Empty the weight of your hips, the back of your buttocks, into the support beneath you. And letting go of any gripping in the outer seams of your legs, the inner seams of your legs, all the way down to the arches of your feet. the edge of your toes. Allow your 
yourself to rest and relax. Slowly bending the knees, taking your feet to the floor, resting over to your right side. Take a few moments, open your eyes, adjust to the light in the room, and slowly making your way back up. Namaste.